this beautiful sandstone is very big and has holes in it, as you can see, right? This is called a Tufani sandstone. And why are there holes in the sandstone? It isn't like every single day that you see one of these hanging around. So how did it form? Well, first off, about 30 million years ago, the place I am standing right now was underwater. And so all of the sand formed sandstone. And underwater, it mixed with the calcium that was inside. That was in the water, of course. So these sandstones has this calcium in it. So when the rain hits the calcium inside, it basically gets into the rock. And then so it mixes with the calcium. And now the rain evaporates, the water evaporates, and the dissolved calcium that the rain mixed with is actually evaporates too to the outer layer of the sandstone. So this creates the shell of the sandstone, which is called dairy crust. And so right now the dairy crust is hard, but then wait, uh, some of the calcium got evaporated away with the rain. So now there's an uneven distribution of the calcium inside of the sandstone. So some places in the sandstone are low calcium, while some places are high calcium. So of course, with this said, if the crust, the dirty crust of the sandstone cracks a bit, then it'll be very easy for erosion to happen with the low calcium parts in the sandstone, so which creates these holes. These holes are basically eroded because there is low calcium inside this part of the sandstone where the hole is. Wow, very impressive. But this is also very fragile. So this is why no person can actually come in there. So of course, we can preserve this wonderful, amazing, and elegant, and fragile Tufani sandstone.